All right, folks, welcome back. My name is Dave. You found do it yourself, do it right. And uh, this is uh, this is gonna be a quick, quick little video, a little update video. Uh, update on, uh, I guess it would say update number two, video number two on the old uh, 1974 Honda XL 175. And uh, like I said, it's gonna be, it's gonna be quick. Don't blink. Here it comes. So uh, for those of you that's uh, following along with this with this build, resurrection, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, it's uh, it's it progressed pretty quickly and now it's kind of dormant. Uh, I'm uh, you know, I need I need somewhere to work, but uh, as you can see, like I said, if you're following along, it's got a different tank on it. Uh, the other tank I tried to repair, I tried to use some uh, JB Weld. It was uh, it was leaking gas all along the bottom seam, and uh, I just couldn't I just couldn't get it to stop. Uh, I'd get one hole plugged, and uh, another one would just show up unannounced, and uh, you know that's rude. So I uh, you know the bike came with a with another tank. So I uh, cleaned it up, the inside that is. I cleaned the inside, you know, threw some screws and nuts and bolts and whatnot in there and shook the crap out of it. And uh, it's uh, it's not great, but uh, it works. You can uh, kind of see down in there. It holds fuel and uh, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Holds fuel. And uh, let's see, what else have I done? Uh, besides ride it, I've been riding it. Uh, you know, i uh been adjusting on the carburetor. You know, little tweaks here, little tweaks there. Trying to get her dialed in. Uh, other than that, oh, I did do one thing. I broke, <laughs> I broke the, uh, the, uh, the brake switch. So this guy here. Uh, there's a little switch in there, a little nipple, uh, and it's now broken. You can't see it. It's right there because it's gone because it's broken. So I, uh, I gotta, gotta do that. And the, the reason why that's broken is because I switched out these levers. I don't think I talked about these levers in the, uh, in the last video. If I did, you know, forgive me. I forgot. It's been a while. Uh, these are levers from, uh, my CB uh, 360, as you can see, it's upside down, but you know what? It's good enough. Like I said, this is gonna be on a extreme budget, you know, bringing this bike back to life and getting it looking decent and then riding the piss out of it. So, uh, yeah, so I had the lever, it's upside down, but who cares, right, really? Uh, anything, nothing done up there? Uh, oh, I adjusted the brakes a little bit, cause they were, they, uh, you know, they got a bit touchy. They're uh, drum brakes. So I adjusted those. And that's pretty simple. You know, loosen this guy up, loosen that guy up, up or down. Uh, you can uh, really do some adjusting here if you have to, but I didn't have to. Uh, so, other than that, still need a back tire. You know, that tire still, you know, it'll, it'll get me a ticket if I go out on the main road. So, uh, I'm not going out on the main road until I can get a tire for it. Uh, but other than that, you know, the bike, the bike has just been running great, actually. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, my brother-in-law's coming up the hill with his tractor. See uh, how many kicks it starts. Oh, one.
five kicks in it. And uh, she started right up. I hadn't ridden it in you know, about a week, week and a half. Some mud falling off from her from the from the last time I rode it. Oh, I also uh, let me go ahead and turn this off actually so you can hear me. I also Jimmy rigged the uh, the blinkers as you can see. Uh, they were looking pretty, you know, floppy. So uh, I just uh, I put a cotter pin on the top side and the bottom side, and then just wrapped the heck out of them with uh, with uh, electrical tape. You can see this one was already this one was fine, but I still wrapped it. This one still there. Same thing. Same thing here. So uh, you know that's probably not the right thing to do, but uh, it works. All right, so like I said, quick little uh, update video. I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, she's uh, she's still running, and she's you know getting here and there. Uh, I'm gonna order a tire for it, and uh, so I can actually take it out on the street. Actually, I'm gonna order a tire and a new switch right here. Um, I think I have a switch in my stash down south, but it's still down south. So, uh, you know. Like I said, a uh, quick little video, quick little update. If you guys are uh, following along with this XL175, you know, you know, put a comment in the block below. Uh, you know, like, tag, share like you do at the end of all the videos. Um, and uh, you know, till next time. Thanks a lot.